competition between Intel and AMD is heating up once again, which as always is benefiting us as we are getting great processors for us to test and tinker with inside more and more powerful systems. The Ryzen chips from AMD are built on a more efficient platform that allows the company to draw out more performance without relying on too much power. Whereas, Intel is in a bad position since it struggles with its fabrication plans. The solution? The upcoming 15th Gen Arrow Lake launch. What exactly is this, and what can we expect? Let's find out in our video today. Right off the bat, we are fully expecting Intel to bring a new platform and processors that will be built on its 20A process. For those who don't know, the 20A process is equivalent to a 2 nanometer manufacturing process. For example, the 14th gen Intel chips are built using a 7 nanometer process, right behind AMD with TMSC's 5 nanometer process. In layman's terms, the smaller the process, the more transistors can be crammed into the silicon, directly resulting in more power, performance, and a boost in efficiency. Regardless to say, that'll be an S-tier power move from Intel, and a much needed one considering it lagged the competition with internal struggles for a while now. Now, here's the fun bit. There have been rumors and a ton of speculation online about exactly how much of an impact we're talking about regarding the 15th generation processors. For example, according to a forum from Anantech and backed up by vvideocards.com, Intel Arrow Lake should be able to deliver a 5% increase in single thread and about 15% in multi-thread. What we are expecting, though, is to see some form of improvement that directly impacts the current generation of processors. The whole Raptor Lake refresh phase was interesting, yes, and one of the many things it did was buy Intel more time to focus on putting everything in place, all with the objective of making Arrow Lake as impactful as it can be. Now, if we ask you to name a term that instantly revives a piece of a boring mundane machine into an interesting and futuristic all of a sudden, what would you pick? Think for a bit, and if the answer is remotely close to AI, you're in the clear. Basically, we expect Intel to capitalize on this demand, and they might be doing it by utilizing the Intel CLPG Plus GPU architecture, which will benefit from extended matrix extensions. An AI acceleration engine, in a nutshell. This would enable the Arrow Lake chips to further amplify data processing alongside amping up graphics and video performance. These leaks get further solidified, as Intel is currently marketing the upcoming Arrow Lake as the world's first gaming CPUs that come with an AI accelerator. With the meteoric rise of AI PCs, Intel is easily positioning itself with accelerators integrated into the CPU package, which should give AMD enough reasons to worry about. Now while all that sounds good, when should we expect the processors? Intel teased the Arrow Lake suggesting the release date should be somewhere around late, 2024 or 2025 launch. Though we are fully expecting the company to roll out the processors later this year, with fingers crossed. Now the core and thread count is where you need to apply salt because, at this point, that's anyone's guess. Intel could push further by implementing additional performance or efficiency cores to the new processors, but it could also maintain what we have for each core tier and focus on somewhere else entirely without even noticing the core, threads, or speeds. Maybe new motherboard chipsets? A new LGA 1851 socket? Who knows? As things go with AMD processors or NVIDIA GPUs, it's best to hold on to your hats till we learn more about Arrow Lake ahead of launch, especially after the performance figures have been confirmed and revealed. Modern processors such as the AMD Ryzen 6000 or Intel 12th Gen cards are fantastic chips that can easily handle demanding games and software, so upgrades aren't necessarily a requirement for a smooth experience. So all we gotta do is bide our time, have patience, and see what Intel has in store for us. Regardless, what are your thoughts on the upcoming Arrow Lake chips? Do let us know, as we'd love to hear from you. And as for everything else, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit the bell icon if you want more content like this on your feed.